Hello, today I'm going to go over the format experiment where I tested out the WWC LED spectrum against the AB Plus program. Hello and welcome back everybody to the BioReef. Uh, several months ago, a viewer uh, saw one of my videos and asked if I ever tried the WWC uh, program for my uh, Ecotec lights. Uh, and I had no idea what that was. So uh, I did a little bit of research and I realized that WWC, that's uh, Worldwide Corals in Florida, uh, they run a special variant of the SPS AB Plus program that Ecotec developed for their Radeon lights. So what WWC does is that they run half of the day with only blues. So the typical uh, SPS AB Plus has uh, all the blues in the UV, a little bit of white, a little bit of green, and a little bit of uh, red. And what WWC does is they essentially remove the red, the green, and the white for half of the day. So it's just, it's all blues. And I was intrigued about uh, whether uh, that changed this uh, WWC spectrum will actually uh, affect the colors of my SPS. So I started out this experiment where essentially I did a two month of uh, running the WWC program, and then I switched back into AB plus and I ran that for another two months. And I did publish a video uh, just showing my initial impressions after a month running the uh, WWC program. And uh, one thing that I noted was that it seems like I got a bit of a growth spurt. It's it's really hard to assess growth by just looking at pictures because you know as corals grow there, there is more of them to see and and there's more branches to kind of expand so it's a little bit tricky judging things by eye so after about a month of doing the experiment i've decided that actually i should do something a little bit more empirical so what i did is i cut approximately one inch uh, uh, frags green slimer frags i cut two of them and i've put them in the same spot in my frag rack and i had them grow for about a month with the WWC program. And then I measured before and after their weight to figure out what the, how fast they grew. And then I, when I switched back to AB+, I also cut two green slimer frags and I put them in the exact same, the same position in my frag rack and I monitored how fast they grew over uh, the span of a month. And I have pictures now of what the corals looked like before, what the corals looked like after two months of running WWC, and what they look like after switching back for two months to the AP Plus program. So let's have a look at the coral pictures to see whether the WWC spectrum uh, affects the colors in any way. And then we're gonna go back and look at how fast my green slimer frags grew under the WWC spectrum versus the AP Plus. And then I'm gonna tell you about what my thoughts about which program is better and, and, and uh, which one I, I plan to continue running on my system. So let's have a look at the pictures of the SBS corals. So I'm gonna first show you what they looked like running AB+, then what they looked like after running uh, two months of the WWC, and then finally, what they looked like after switching back to AB+, for two more months. So this is the blueberry wine, and kind of no big changes. The Cali Tort, uh, didn't really notice any big changes in the color there. The Digi, uh, also no big changes in color. You, you'll notice that the colony got a lot smaller <laughs> over time, but that's because I've been actively fragging it because it spreads like a monster. Uh, Fox Flame, uh, again, no, no big changes in color. The Echinata, uh, Hawkins Echinata, I, again, uh, no, no big changes in color. This is the uh, Golden Jaw Dropper. Maybe it got a lot, a little bit pinker uh, with the WWC, but it, it's hard. It's hard to know. Uh, this is the Jason Fox Jolt. I don't think I've noticed uh, any change there. The Major Laser. No obvious changes to me. This is the Refract Rainbow Loom. No, no big changes here as well. Uh, Marvin the Martian, Refraff Marvin, uh, Marvin the Martian. Uh, again, I didn't notice uh, any big change in the color. Uh, Orange Passion, 
sometimes I think it looks a little bit better, uh, but I, I think that's just the iPhone kind of random uh, uh, automatic white balance uh, doing tricks on me. Uh, this is the Pac-Man, uh, no big changes in color, I don't think. Uh, I think I did like the color of the pink Cadillac a little bit more with uh, AB+. Plus. Uh, PC Rainbow, uh, no big obvious changes in color, I don't think. This is uh, Pink Lemonade. This one looked worse with WWC, but that's because I actually flipped the coral and I was really unhappy. Uh, so I think overall uh, there was no big changes. Uh, this is Refraft Pot of Gold. Um, it looked like it kind of it colored up a little bit with WWC, but when I switched back to AB+, uh, it didn't change. So I think it was just the, the coral uh, getting bigger and, and looking different as it gets bigger and not necessarily a, a change caused by the spectrum. Uh, the Strawberry Shortcake, I thought it improved with WWC, but again, it, it continued to kind of get brighter. So I, I, I think that's just an artifact of the coral growing. Uh, you know, sometimes frags don't look as good as whole colonies. So that that's another thing that you should keep in mind when you're looking at these pictures. Then finally, the uh, little, red, uh, little red Ferrari. And again, no big changes. So I, I think in summary, I, I didn't really see any change in color. Where I did see change was actually in the growth rates. So here are the two frags that uh, I took of my green slimer. And uh, this is what uh, I'm showing you before and after the, what their weights were in grams. And uh, these were placed in uh, like two specific spots in my frag rack. Uh, and just visually, it looked like the growth rate was a little bit larger with the WWC. Uh, these are the frags with the uh, AB+. Uh, I ran them a little bit longer for 41 days, but I've standardized everything by kind of dividing over how many days the corals grow. So uh, in the summary slides, it's gonna uh, come up here. Uh, and what you'll see is that the average growth rate for uh, the WWC spectrum is 0 0.01 uh, grams per day or approximately 0.3 grams per month. And the average growth rate for the AB plus is 0 0.004 grams per day or 1.45 grams per month. So the growth rate of the frags under the WWC, WWC spectrum are twice as fast. So this I think meshes with my observations where I did see kind of an explosion of growth uh, that coincided with switching to the WWC. And it, it was very hard for me to kind of de determine visually whether that was the case. So that's why I did the experiment. And, you know, take it for what it's worth. Th this is not a real kind of scientific experiment. There is no biological replications. Uh, but, you know, this, this is just me messing around with my system. And the growth rate of the frags do support this idea that uh, the frags grew faster with WWC. So, where does this leave us? Uh, I'm getting uh, no changes in color and faster growth rate, rate with the WWC. So, uh, at, you know, just at these two facts, it might suggest that actually that I should go with the WWC and enhance growth. Uh, I am actually going to stick with the AB Plus program for a couple of reasons. One is that I, I really am not a big fan of the look of the old blue tanks, right? Uh, some people like it, and, and don't get me wrong, like some people love that look. But when the tank is running the WWC, it, it's so blue that it kind of like, it, it's <laughs> it's the kind of blue that could hurt your eyes if, if you stare at it for too long, if you get what I mean. So uh, I'm, I guess, I guess if I were, you know, if this was before COVID and most of uh, uh, the photo period is like me away at work, maybe I wouldn't mind the, the WWC spectrum. Uh, but because I'm you know, working from home, I see the tank all the time. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to look at an old blue tank. I, it, it's just, it's, it's not my look. So uh, the other thing is that I'm, I'm actually kind of having a, a problem with coral growth. As you can see, the, the corals are getting really big and they're growing into each other. And as I'm setting up my new tank, I, I actually don't want <laughs> I don't want like everything to go into each other now I, I wanna I wanna like uh, manage growth a little bit uh, because the, the, you know there's just so many frags that you could uh, get rid of and and it, it, it takes time to actually go in and, and kind of prune uh, so I think at this stage uh, of in my tank I'm gonna stick with the AB plus uh, 
I like uh, I like just visually the look and I don't want to increase growth rate so much right now because uh, I just don't want to spend all of my time fragging uh, if I were maybe uh, starting the tank from uh, one inch frags again uh, and I did want to boost growth rates and I would definitely consider the WWC uh, but for now, I'm going to stick with the AB+. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, four-month experiment. Uh, again, you know, do, do take it with a grain of salt. This is just what I got in my system. Uh, your mileage may, may vary. But I, I am curious to hear your thoughts if, if you've ever played around with the WWC program and, and whether uh, you've found similar results in terms of uh, perhaps no big change visually in terms of what the corals look like. Uh, uh, but a change in, in the growth rates. Okay, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you, I'll see you in my next video. Have a good one and stay safe, everybody.